Having faith in Jesus Christ, it's the meaning of life. To know that with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, it's very comforting and reassuring that things will be right someday. God makes amazing promises and he keeps those promises. So the biblical world, if you are someone watching this video, maybe watch a few more of my videos to see that these signs and symbols show up all the time. We weren't aware of them. For me, it took having faith in Jesus Christ, seeking the truth in life to realize this. There's a lot more to realize, so strap in. But for now, here is a Chinese actor, Yang Yang. You know how in the beginning, in the Garden of Eden, God says to Adam and Eve, here's one thing not to do. And they listened to Satan the serpent and got beguiled by him, deceived by him. And he tells Adam and Eve, don't listen to God, listen to me. If you eat the apple, and it might not be an apple, but most people assume it's an apple. If you take a bite of the apple, you will be as God. You will be as gods, like gods. You will know good and evil. You will be enlightened. So here's a harmless picture, right? <laughs> Chinese actor, it's the whole world. It's all industries. He's holding an apple. Is he offering it? Has he taken a bite out of the apple? Because he does a yoga mudra. Yoga is not a good thing. Aleister Crowley, a Satanist, one of the biggest influencers of Satanism in the past however many years, taught about yoga and all of these actors and actresses and musicians, etc. seem to reference the third eye where they do this one, saying they're extremely enlightened. This is a yoga mudra, a pose of enlightenment. Bite the apple like in the beginning. Enlightenment. And then they do one eye symbolism, the eye of Satan. That's like, it's the eye of Horus, the eye of Providence, the eye of Ra. Those are all different names for Satan. So he's doing one eye symbolism here and he's doing it there. And he's doing it here. The slam dunk pose covering half his face in one eye has one eye symbolism. He's doing one eye symbolism here as well. He's doing it there. He's doing it here as well. And he's doing it here and he's doing it here as well. He does the vow of silence, keeping the secret that the world is biblical, surprise, and fame and fortune's not what we thought it, what, thought it is. The whole world is a stage and it's controlled. Things that happen, right, they're, they're planned and scripted out. Who gets famous? People that keep the secret. And then they keep the secret again there, and there, and there, and they wear the Freemason checkerboard. They wear the Freemason checkerboard. It's the whole world. The world is biblical. You're for Jesus Christ and have salvation and know the meaning of life, or you're against him, getting deceived by Satan. Even those that work for Satan, they're, they're ultimately deceived. Like, I don't know if they think that Satan loves them or whatever, if they're really, like, making him as God, who he's the small g God of this world. He's a created being. He has a destiny that looks terrible beyond words. You don't want to be a part of that. You should expose it because these people are fooled and deceived. You know, what they do is between them and God. But they're part of our world. They make things, you know, they, they get pushed in the media. If they like something, other people admire them and they like something. And they say they voted and they did this and that. It's really a lot of deception, and it sounds crazy to start talking about it because there's so much. It's the whole world. It's all industries. A famous person, you say, and then a lot of people will say they're Christians, which gets even more confusing. My last video was about a Christian gospel singer who does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra along with this person and all the other famous people. God bless you, everyone. Stay strong in the truth of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.